Hey, what's up guys, Buzzin here, and this is a video showing you guys how to get completionist or how to do challenges on Awakening. Now this map is really, really tough. There's uh, a lot of new challenges here, so I thought I'd just upload this because uh, uh, quite a few people on my friends are struggling to do some of these challenges. So here you go, this is how to kill the leap. I uh, nearly said leaper then. <laughs> it's not leaper, it's leper because um, it, it doesn't hang around with the other aliens. It's uh, a leper so it's by itself and it won't go for you so you've got to go find it and there it is there it's a dark grey colour and it's the same size and health as a hunter but same colour as a scout so uh, I'll show you a better picture of it here in a second uh, this is on point of contact where I got a really really nice up close shot now there you go as you can see there is like a dark grey colour and he's got no red markings on him so I hope that helps you if you're struggling if you didn't know what he looked like the 10 marked aliens now you want to turn your sentry guns around here because they might end up killing some of the unmarked ones and uh, try and just turn them put them against a wall or something like that if you've got betties then uh, try and keep them away from the betties uh, hopefully you won't have traps on or anything like that and just try and get them killed as quickly as possible and that way uh, you get the challenge done uh, the longer the mark ones are on the map there's more chance you can have collateral damage because you don't want to have like three or four unmarked aliens around one that is marked and as you see here it was a gargoyle that was marked and then once the gargoyle's been killed we actually had to kill a phantom and uh, we got this challenge done uh, so I hope this helps you to uh, get this challenge because that is a really really tough one to be honest all these challenges are tough or else they won't be called challenges I guess because uh, they're challenging and uh, yeah so and the next one I'm going to show you here is uh, accuracy challenge now, accuracy can well it can be at any time during the game but usually you'll have it at the beginning there's a 50% chance that you'll have a, a stab challenge or an accuracy challenge if it's at the beginning all you'll do is just stab an alien and then when he's stunned just put one bullet into him and then just run around stabbing the rest of them uh, using traps anything but shooting and uh, it's really really easy um, sometimes someone might not know what the challenge is and shoot off a couple of bullets and get a few misses but if you shoot those pods then that's a good way to get the accuracy up and just politely say the challenge is accuracy and uh, you should be good then um, if you're in random lobbies then you might struggle because I've noticed trying to get game footage for this that people don't try and do the challenges a lot and, and this is showing you the accuracy right at the end and I was with uh, a good team here and they knew what they were doing uh, just throw down armor, get your sentry guns out, just um, if one person says I'll take the shot or um, just shoot the C pod or something like that um, Venom ac uh, counts towards accuracy as well uh, but because it lingers and that if you get a hit marker then the accuracy will go back up if you actually missed and you see there I'm using the uh, tank special ability which is really really good for that challenge and um, just not uh, the uh, specialist upgrade because you don't want to be shooting off loads of bullets and this is the kill 15 aliens from a distance of 65 feet the way we do this is we have like two groups break up 65 feet apart shoot your venom ammo um, over there and um, you can just run around then as you can see here I got feral on and I wasn't killing the aliens that were with me uh, I was just letting them shoot those and uh, this is an easy way to do it there's an easy way to do pretty much all of these challenges as long as you you have a strategy and uh, you talk then you should be fine um, it's just when people don't really talk or people don't know what they're doing then you're gonna struggle you know, um, getting a completionist in a random lobby will be pretty tough because the amount of times I've been playing and people won't even buy a gun so yeah or um, you actually there's one challenge that you can't complete uh, that's if someone's running pistol only and then you get a gun challenge uh, like everyone buy a gun and uh, then you screw pretty much but that's how you do that challenge and uh, kill five aliens while they're in the air now this can be any alien it can be flying alien or it can be just any alien that happens to be in the air so incendiary ammo is really really good here as well and uh, using your venom x venom x helps a lot with so many of these challenges so don't be afraid to use that you know, a lot of people will forget about their venom gun and they just use their primary but to get challenges done it really really helps um, so here you can see I was trying to shoot that uh, gargoyle out of the sky a couple of fails but 
I finally got it, I think. And then um, just traps would work, like uh, the fire trap would work, because um, it would do like lingering damage. Uh, but the electric trap, that wouldn't, because they would die as soon as they stepped in that. So uh, that's that challenge, pretty much. As you see here, I'll, I'll get the kill with uh, the incendiary. If you just shoot them, and you see, if you see it's running, just stop shooting for a bit, and then you never know, like, it might jump when it's on fire. Um, or you can just try and shoot it while it's jumping from a long ways away. Um, armor piercing is a, a tough ammo type to use for this challenge. It is really, really difficult. Um, so if you got that, then you probably want to use your venom gun. Uh, you see there, I think it was actually the, the venom that killed it then. So, uh, yeah, like I said, the venom gun is brilliant. Uh, every player purchases a new weapon. I'm not going to tell you how to suck eggs here. I mean, it's pretty much easy, apart from if you have someone running the pistol only relic, and then uh, it's a fail, which I don't think is fair. That I think they need to patch that. Um, I did hear something that you could uh, deploy money to the equivalent of a gun, like two grand, or you go up to it and you pay the money. But we've tried it so many times and it doesn't work. If somebody actually knows how to um, get around that, if you want to leave a comment, because that would actually be brilliant, because I couldn't figure that out. So uh, kill five flying aliens before the obelisk is scanned. Now this is really really difficult if you've got a lot of aliens scurrying around at your feet and uh, you can't look up into the sky. Um, so if you have um, like sentry guns down um, just so you can look up into the sky, uh, you do run the risk though then that uh, they're actually going to get the kills. So if people have got IMS then uh, that that would be a really really good idea. But you just want to. If you got turtle beaches, you'll hear the um, like audio clues. It'll, the characters will say like bombers inbound and take down that gargoyle and all those uh, really useful tips and that. And um, if you have specialist uh, shooting down gargoyles, uh, uh, if you double tap up on your D-pad, then uh, that's a good way to shoot them down quickly. You always try and get those off the map as quickly as possible anyway, and you do get a lot of points for it. It's 750 points for a gargoyle kill and uh, that, that's really really handy uh, they do take a lot of bullets uh, so in the circle challenge uh, for this um, IMS's uh, Betty's um, throw down lots of armor the more people that are actually in the circle the easier it is uh, which is kind of strange but I mean if you have got a trophy system if you can put that down then that really helps because you don't really want to be standing in the circle when you've got uh, loads of scorpion goo um, but if you just throw, keep throwing down your armor and uh, also if you have me a medic upgrade and you just um, deploy your med gas then everyone's health is going to go up so um, if you've only got one person in the circle then you're going to struggle I mean ideally you want to have everybody in there uh, but sometimes if you can't see the drill so well then you're probably going to want to have someone stood by the drill to watch it because you don't want the drill to get mullered so uh, that's always a good idea um, I'd say you'd probably want three people at least in there because it is 20 kills so there's a lot of kills so you just get three people in there or four uh, as long as you're watching the drill and uh, you're throwing down that armor then it's all good and uh, yeah that's uh, a nice easy challenge um, don't reload your weapon now for this just make sure you check your guns before the five seconds is up because um, you don't want to be just like switching weapons and then all of a sudden your character starts to do the reload motion because then you frantically have to start tapping Y and there was one occasion where that did actually happen to me and I was running around like an idiot quickly double tapping Y and just oh, it was a nightmare so and it's a horrible challenge to fail um, you know people just be stood next to you and then your character will say cover me I'm reloading and everyone's just like Doll, <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as the uh, ability one because that comes up on the screen. Who failed the challenge? It's the 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 shaming, um, but yeah, it's not a good one to fail. Uh, and in random lobbies, it's uh, really really stressful because people will shoot if they don't know what the challenge is, and uh, you're pretty much going to fail that. But hopefully, you'll have a good team, and that won't happen. So just put the traps on and uh, check your weapons and use abilities. Talking of abilities, don't use abilities for 90 seconds. So that's anything on your D-pad that includes double tapping up uh, for your um, like specialist upgrades, uh, your tank, your engineer, your medic, uh, 
etiquette and things like that so just be careful with that one um, for this just throw down as much as you can right at the start so uh, throw your sentry guns down throw your armor throw your ammo and just like hit traps just like anything but the d-pad and uh, you'll be all good then uh, it is a long challenge uh, the uh, gun challenges, uh, the semi-autos, the uh, SMGs, the LMGs, the assault rifles, the sniper rifles. Uh, make sure people are throwing down a lot of ammo and uh, also hand boosters if you do have them because that's really, really handy for those. Uh, spend 20,000. This is the highest spend one there is. So uh, I always try to make sure that I have healthy points uh, right at the beginning of the round anyway. Um, a lot of people will throw their stuff down before the round starts and then they're poor so make sure you throw it down after the uh, the five seconds is up uh, there's nothing worse than throwing it down just before um, don't spend any money so for this one you want to spend all of your cash as soon as you can so um, just throw it down within those five seconds like all your ammo your armor your sentry guns buy the traps and um, if you have flares, uh, they come in really, really handy as well for this because uh, you know you, you can't do anything for a uh, lot of time, which is really, really tough for two minutes. So um, yeah, and you can use your abilities here. So uh, if you run low on ammo, then just uh, use your specialist upgrade, and then you got unlimited ammo for however long you've got, however many times you've upgraded it. And uh, your tank, that, that's always a good one as well because then you're invincible and uh, it just takes the pressure off uh, your teammates and you're probably going to want to use the, the medic upgrade as well if you can uh, because people can't throw down armor obviously so their health might be pretty uh, desperate so uh, just communicate I guess that's uh, the key to all these challenges just like talk to each other and stuff and um, it's always good to do that as well because then you don't forget and uh, he got someone actually deployed money which I didn't know you could do it's not spending it so you can give money to people so if you are worried about your spend rate and you max your money out just start deploying it and uh, you, you won't sort of sacrifice your uh, spend rate so that was actually something that I learned while I was making this video so uh, a big thank you I learned loads of new stuff while I was doing this video so everyone that helped me uh, I'll put credits at the end uh, just a big thank you to everybody on my friends list that uh, helped me and uh, the random uh, game lobbies as well. I met some really cool people. So yeah, uh, that'll be at the end of the video. And uh, that is such a long time, two minutes without spending money. Uh, it's pretty desperate. So uh, just make sure that um, you just don't spend that money <laughs> and don't max your money out as well. Um, and that's it, done. The next challenge is uh, Melee, a scorpion. So this is one of the easier ones. Um, if you just like throw down your armor, um, feral, and uh, if you have a flare, then that's really really helpful too, because uh, then it'll just like stand there and you can just stab it to death, and uh, that's it. I love these challenges where you get the skill points before the end of the round as well, so um, that they really really helps. Don't go into last stand. This is an easy one. Just like throw down the armor and that, and uh, you know, just don't go down. Don't fall off the map as well. Um, so kill 10 aliens without taking damage I played for about 4 days to try and get this gameplay footage and this only happened once this challenge and we failed it unfortunately um, someone got isolated uh, over uh, by the drill I think it was and uh, took some scorpion damage so just throw down a flare and that and stick together and just like shout out sort of where the aliens are and you should be fine there for that this is an awesome one I love this one where you just jump around like a looney tune and uh, it's definitely one of the more fun challenges and one of the more easy ones as well so you know flares here help as well um, and uh, venom guns they help too um, just make sure that you just jump around and uh, you get it done it's just like some bad crazy party at the drill over here everyone's just like bouncing around and that and uh, um, like fast hand boosters that helps um, having a semi-auto is a bit of a pain um, as you can see here I've got a, a semi-auto and trying to shoot a bomber while jumping at like 40 feet is very very difficult um, so you probably want to be sort of like jumping around with the alien on your toes and that and with a chainsaw um, that's a, an easier way to do it but I mean like this is just the way we do it anyway uh, we just use our, our venom I mean you can just shoot a venom and then just like jump around like just forget about it 
and um, then you still get those kills as long as you're in the air. Um, as you see here, uh, I end up like throwing Semtex as well, and then just like jump around. Um, Betty's Claymores. As long as your feet are off the ground, when you get that kill, then uh, you'll end up getting that uh, challenge done. Uh, and that's a cool one. I really, really like that challenge. And uh, the next challenge here is don't bleed out. So as I said before, just don't fall off the map. Uh, stay close to your teammates, and uh, you'll be fine with that one. That pretty much like a dead cert. That one is really, really hard to fail. Um, although I have said that before, and then someone falls off the map. So yeah, you don't want that to happen. So just stay close to the drill and your teammates, and don't fall off the map. Uh, that's the only tips I can really give for that one. Uh, so kill aliens while on high ground. There's also a lower ground one as well. So for the higher ground one here, you just go up onto some high ground and then just shoot down uh, at the sentry guns, at the drill, uh, or you can have just teammates running around below you uh, like they are there. And uh, that, that's an easy one to do. Uh, lower ground one, easy as well. Uh, so this one is a tough one. Well, I found this tough in random lobbies uh, when I play with uh, Civi and Jesus and uh, like all the other sort of like um, high sort of like leaderboard players. Um, it's easy because we do this strategy. So hopefully this will help you guys. What I have is everybody shooting with their pistols and um, just like shoot the ones with uh, like uh, that are white. It means that you haven't shot it yet and. Uh, don't do like that guy is doing with a, an arc on his uh, shotgun because you're never going to get it done. Uh, just shoot the gargoyles, the phantoms, the scorpions, the uh, hunters, like all the ones that take a lot of damage. Just shoot them with a pistol and then once everybody's shot it with a pistol, uh, just finish it off and you get that one done. It's so easy. It's only eight kills. So as long as you work together, you'll get that one done. This one is a nightmare. You'd think it would be easy. Um, kill 25 aliens with a pistol. You don't even have to buy a gun, <laughs> and it's like right at the start of the um, like the uh, game. So, but if you have sentry guns out and you have traps on and you have a rhino and all these things that are taking the kills, then it is a nightmare. But just make sure that um, if you do have those things out, just go to another part of the map where they spawn. Um, if you've got some skill points that you haven't spent, it's worth spending them on that pistol. Uh, you're probably going to end up doing it during the game anyway, so uh, to get that muzzle brake attachment, it really, really helps because uh, you will rinse the ammo um, and make sure people are throwing down ammo because uh, there's nothing worse than running around with no ammo in your pistol and no money. Uh, I see there, just like shooting with uh, my assault rifle on there. That annoys people because they think you're actually shooting the aliens with your assault rifle, but you're not. You're just, you know, shooting at uh, the uh, plant pods. If you want to shoot the gargoyles with your um, assault rifle, you can do. But I just tend to stay out of their way. As you see there, I'm just like running around in this little uh, cave bit. I took it down just before that, so I edited that out. Uh, but uh, I didn't tell you that. Um, you want to stay together and we weren't tight enough together here if everyone's together and there's a trophy system down this is a nightmare to do this challenge but if everyone's together everyone's throwing down armor uh, people are using their med gas people are talking um, shooting down the gargoyles if it actually is in the line of sight where it can shoot you because it will shoot you and kill you instantly if you're prone like that it's just instant death uh, you can have a riot shield on your back and still die like I did and have armor. So just stay together, stay hidden from the gargoyles, keep throwing down that armor and just stick tight together because then you can just pick up people's armor and uh, the med gas will like, go on to other people as well. So that's how we do it and I was playing with like some random guys and one of the guys was talking, uh, someone else wasn't. and. Luckily you went prone, but yeah, so hopefully this video has helped you uh, guys and I did put a lot of time into it and because I really, really want to help you guys because I did hear like a lot of people struggling with these new challenges. So if it did help you, uh, if you want to just like leave a comment, say that it helped you, uh, if it did, like it. If you want to see more extension stuff, uh, be sure to subscribe. I will be uploading zombie stuff soon as well, some game commentaries. I've got loads more awesome quality content coming to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out guys. Take it easy.